Yo, we back with that reaction, man. It's your boy, Boss KO Music, man. You know, on this channel, I like to react to some of your favorite YouTubers and influencers. So if that's the content you like, subscribe, 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 right? Quick house rules. I like to go through these videos, give my thoughts and opinions. You can follow along with me. Give me your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Before I press play, though. You two, three seconds, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You ain't gonna want to miss none of these videos. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Please remember to like, and if you're new here, subscribe. Now previously I have been reporting about Jess and the hate that she has been getting after she went back to read. And so supporters noticed that she posted on her Instagram story. People don't have to like you. People don't have to love you. People don't even have to respect you. And so y'all let me hear her views. You know her sister also haven't been here for her getting back with Reed. She also has been going off on the media. You no, know, yesterday she also posted. And I also want to address something else. And I'm for real done lol. I saw a comment saying I'm jealous of my sister and Why her sister seems so mad? Like do you want to be a content creator or something? Like she seems so mad. Even though she's saying she ain't mad, she just seemed mad. She been going out for days. That's why I heard her out. Listen, I love my life. I have one more semester of college left. I have my own car, apartment. I have a beautiful family and a great support system. Truly wholeheartedly. I can never be jealous of nobody, lol. I worked so hard to get to where I am right now with no handouts. I am very secure within myself and I'm glad I... So was she saying shorty had handouts? Like, what's going on? Did what I did to get myself to the point I'm at now at the age of 22. I can post how I feel and I can care less about anything because I know the truth about a lot. So if I really wanted to hear business out, I could have already. Time will tell all and that's it. And so y'all, I do want to hear... That's a true statement. Time will tell all. Please, when it comes onto this down in the comment section below, what do y'all think? No, according to Tio Clocking on TikTok, Benet was on live and someone in the comment section asked her if she would ever apologize to Angel. And so she stated that she's the one who needs the apology from Angel. I got my little shelves put up. Here we at. Here we at. Um, personally, no, because she thought I was the one doing something and it wasn't me the whole time. So I feel like. Dang. She said she thought it was her doing something. What they was doing, y'all. Like, Benet deserves an apology. And so a lot of people do have mixed opinion when it comes on to her saying that. As some people are saying that she did play a part in the whole thing. But I do want to know what y'all think. Now people also noticed that Angel posted a picture yesterday. And so people felt like the caption may be shading Benet. As she posted be here but still acting like a rookie and so people believe she may be talking about benet since oh yeah benet turned 24. benet is 24 and kobe year is 24. now some people also left comments saying angel the shade you just threw and the caption catch it someone also said she gotta be talking about benet but y'all, I do want to hear reviews when it comes on to that. And so she has been throwing her shades through her caption. When her and Nunu became back close, she also had posted a caption as well. And people felt like she was talking about Nunu. But y'all, let me hear reviews. No, Benet, Brooklyn, and Ned had did a video on YouTube. And so they were asked who they felt had stink bread. No, they did not say who. However, people were speculating that they were talking about Debo. And so a lot of people were in the comment section of Debo's post talking about it. Nisha also had stood up for him, saying that it could never be him because he doesn't have stink bread. And so Debo did ask Ned, and Ned made it known that she wasn't talking about him. Hey, say I got a question, Ned. Who y'all were talking about? See, so you don't think I'm lying, right? Here. I got a question that who y'all would talk about when y'all said somebody breath was funky? Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me get one. I can't tell y'all, but it wasn't Devo. Because they said they oh, were trying on, to say on. it was me. They got proof, though. I can, I can tell y'all. They got proof. I can tell y'all in y'all ear, but I can't. No. Why? Oh, no. I'm talking about, I'm talking about some, oh. some video. Oh, shit. Burn down. 
up here. No oh, thanks. <laughs> you heard that? No. <laughs> blah blah blah. <laughs> oh yeah, I did hear. You know Kim? Yeah, no. Damn. Cause they was coming for my man. <laughs> it wasn't Devo, I swear to God. It and so y'all, I do want to hear reviews. Man, they nah, they was talking about Debo. Y'all was sneak this. When it comes on to that, down in the comment section below. Now I do want to move on to this next drama. Now, if you have been keeping up with my videos, yesterday I reported about Kayla and Nadia and that they have been going at it. Nadia also had went off on Kayla telling her to shut the F up or whatever quickly walked away. And so Kayla went off asking Nadia if she needs that. And so last night they pulled up the fight. However, Nadia wasn't on that. Kayla also made a few posts saying, while y'all favored hiding in a car, nah, she didn't need that. Anyways, good night. Everybody only wanted one fade between MF's can't try to jump them and do all that. And so it seems Kida and AC were the only two females that fought. Zay also jumped into the fight as well. Kayla posted a clip on Twitter and said, Man, they funny talking about Nadia was hiding in the car. I think Nadia was really hiding in the car, man. At n word do MS can't F with me one and one Zay, AC, Kida. And Zay, you fought a female, stud or not. Bet though. Now y'all can go over to Kayla's Twitter. Yo. Hey, funny. So, so dude was fighting a, um, a stud. I thought he was over there fighting another dude. And see the fight. No, everyone was around Nadia like a bodyguard. No, stop No, Kida also took to her Instagram story and she posted. I don't give a F what nobody say. I'm not gonna keep fighting if it's only me and AC fighting against eight B words. And so Kayla said, only me and my homegirl fought. I see lying run through the house. Kayla also said, me and AC was never supposed to fight. Kayla, the F are y'all talking about? He was. A B word asked me, do I need that? And I said, run up. And so Kayla also said, none of y'all took a hell, but was hiding right after. Oh, the man got her whole game fighting for <laughs> Coming live. Coming live. What? Nah, you ain't want that smoke, y'all. Never in life would I be sending hoes knocking on my car. Never in life would I be letting knock on my car. Nadia! Nadia! Fuck! Tell her go beat that ass. And so y'all, I do want to know what y'all think when it comes on. So uh, what you fight Nadia for? Y'all protect the Nadia. Ah, ah. They don't want Nadia to get what? So this whole drama. Now Kayla was on live after speaking on what happened. Ain't no shame, baby, baby, no shame. She didn't want to eat with me, though. She didn't want to eat with me. I caught her out, though. And she yeah. didn't. She didn't want that. Okay. The next one? She We fought behind a Nadia apartment. Then we ended up following her ass to the apartments, and they was walking into the ship. They treated Nadia like a little bodyguard, but she could talk her little. Nah, now she too little. Yeah, I say Nadia too little for her. They ain't want her to get whooped down on, man. And she got the show right now. That was going to destroy the show, man. She get beat down on, man. She could pop that shit, tell people to show, do all this other shit on my body, you know this, but you yeah, can't I'm fight. Okay, Chihuahua. All right, bro. All right, bro. I don't like that. Then on top of that, then on top of that, if we get out the car and I'm telling you I want to fight Kita and AZ and I'm out the car. Kayla, no, you got to fight Kita. Why? We already fought. You want me to fight an energetic ass bitch like we ain't already run a fade? Just fair Manaya and a condo. He right? was all in front of her car. What's your thoughts on this, man? Hit like, subscribe button, drop some in the comments. We is out. Uh...